Neville is a SRQ1 class square shaped black tender engine, but sometimes his square body can make the other engines think that he looks like a diesel when in fact he's not. When he first came to Sodor, Thomas saw that he was teased by Arian Burt about being careless when he backed up to some flatbed trucks, and this made the other engines wonder if he was friends with the diesels just because of the shape of his boiler. And when Thomas rescued Neville from a broken bridge, he suddenly realized that Neville wasn't actually friends with the diesels. It was just because of the shape of his boiler that made him think he was a diesel in the first place. But despite his mistakes in the past, Neville is always trying to, his hardest to be really useful engine on the island of Sodor. It was a beautiful sunny morning on the island of Sodor, and Neville was relaxing on the sunny at Today, it was also his day off, so that meant he had the rest of the day off. Ah, <sighs> well it sure is nice and quiet as well, but at least nothing can ruin my day off. Then his new friend Thomas arrived next to him and could see that Neville was relaxing in the sighting, but he didn't know that his new friend Neville was there on his day off. Hey there Neville, you seem happy about something, um, what's the occasion then? Oh, you didn't know? It's my day off today, so that means I can spend the rest of the day off. Oh wow! So where do you think of going for your day off? Well, I was thinking of going to the seaside for my day off. Oh, that would be lovely. I wish I could go too, but I have lots of work to do, so it'll take me the rest of the day to finish them in time, so I might not even get a chance to have a break at the end of finishing them. Actually, Thomas, I still have some time left before I head to the seaside for my day off. Oh, that's very nice of you, Neville. But are you sure you have time to go to the seaside for your day off? Of course I do, Thomas. Now what job is first? Thomas told Neville that he had to take some empty trucks from the side and take them to the docks. Oh, well, that's an easy job for me. I can make it to the docks on time, so you don't need to be worried about that, Thomas. Well, thank you, Neville. That is really helpful. So Neville switched tracks and he's coupled up to the trucks and he puffed away to the docks. Once he had delivered the trucks to the docks, Neville went to the seaside for his day off. On the way there, he bumped into Boko who was in front at a set of points. Boko was taking some fuel tankers to the mainland. They were needed for an important goods train that was needed for the Vickerstown shutting yards, but Neville could see that Boko was worried about something. Oh my, are you alright Boko? Yes, I'm alright, Neville. Thank you for asking. So, what happened here? Well, I was taking these fuel tankers to the mainland, and I was coming up to a set of points, and I believe someone, somebody must have messed with these points, and I couldn't stop in time. And then, that was when I derailed on the point, and and then I realized that I couldn't get back on the track. So that's basically how I got into this mess. So why do you look worried, Boko? Well, I was worried because when I derailed on the point, I already knew that delivery to the mainland was going to be late and not make it on time. But since you're here, could you take this delivery to the mainland for me, Neville? Even though today is your day off. But of course I can help you, Boko. No trouble at all. So Boko was moved to another track to let Neville buffer out to Boko's fuel truck and he set off to the mainland.
Later that day, after he delivered the fuel trunks to the mainland, he went off to the seaside to relax his day off. But further down the line, there was another problem that Neville had to fix. His new friend Thomas had stopped in the middle of Neville's line, and Neville had to stop to see what the problem was. Oh, hello again, Thomas. Um, what's the matter with you? Well, I was so busy with the rest of my jobs that I had finished, which then made me rush a lot and now my wheels are aching. I can't even move them, not even a bit. Oh my. I like how we can go for my day off and rest your aching wheels, Thomas. So Neville buffed her up to Thomas and he took him to the seaside to relax their wheels. That evening at the seaside, Thomas and Volker had something to say to Neville about what happened today. Hey Neville, I'm sorry that I asked you to do one of my jobs. It was because there was too much work for me to do alone, and that's why I asked you. And plus, I didn't want to ruin your day off, too. Yes, I'm sorry. Too, Neville. We should have, we shouldn't have bothered you, even on your day off today. Oh, that's okay, guys. Even friends have to help each other out in a bit of a sticky situation sometimes. Yes, definitely. But hopefully this won't happen again anytime soon. Yes, I agree with you, Boko. I hope it won't happen again anytime soon. And plus, we should always learn from our mistakes as well. And so Thomas and Boko have learned that helping a friend in need like Neville always comes first, and whenever they have a day off, they always make sure to check on their friends to see if they are safe and sound before they go on their favorite places in the future.